and I say this very sincerely, Social Security is a special program. I, FDR for, will forever reside in heaven, in my book, because of what he did. He came up with a program that, by the way, has never once failed to pay benefits on time and in full in 75 years, even through 13 recessions. You name me, take a look at your 401k or your IRA, and you will see what I mean why it was a godsend what FDR came up with with Social Security. And by the way, Social Security isn't just for those who are retired. You get injured on the job, and if you don't have a disability insurance policy the way most of us in America don't, Yes, you do have a disability insurance policy. It's called Social Security. You get paid if you're disabled as a worker. And by the way, you didn't buy life insurance because you thought you were going to live forever, so why, buy, why pay for 50 years of your life into Social Security? I mean, into a, into a life insurance policy for your family if you died because you weren't going to die tomorrow. You were going to die in 100 years. Yes, you do have a life insurance policy. It's called Social Security. Because if you're an American worker who's contributing to Social Security and you pass away, your survivors get your benefits. Social Security is not just retirement benefit. It's life insurance benefit, disability benefit as well, until you die. That's the magic of Social Security. And guess, guess what? There are folks who want to privatize it. Why? Well, talk to the folks on Wall Street. They'll tell you why. Because the trillions of dollars that we put into Social Security, they'd love to have their hands on. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. They'd like to invest it in your 401ks and IRAs that today are still down. They're still making money, but your IRAs and uh, 401ks are still down. Right now, we're trying to fight those who want to privatize Social Security and take all the money out so that you wouldn't even probably get what you earned in Social Security. And so we were hoping... By the way, there, there are people who are today saying that Social Security is broke. And let me, tell, let me give you the quick math on Social Security. And forgive me for going a little long on this because this is a one where politics is played very aggressively. Very aggressively. And it's no secret why people are playing very aggressively with Social Security. This year alone, Americans will contribute hundreds of billions of dollars into the Social Security system. Hundreds of billions of dollars. Let me give you the quick math. Since 1935, when Social Security was first established, and our forefathers and mothers... Start paying into the system. Well, let me ask you, how much do you think we as Americans since 1935 to today have contributed into Social Security from our paychecks? 200 trillions? Okay, just give me a number. Yeah, how much has been contributed since 1935 to today? Give me a number. Three trillion. One more, one more. Eleven trillion. Sir, how much? One billion trillion. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Thirteen and a half trillion dollars. Thirteen and a half trillion real dollars. And real because every time you get your paycheck and you take a look, whoa, it's pretty good. Oh, FICA. Uh, FICA tax. That's FICA taxes, Social Security, and Medicare. That deduction that you saw every paycheck, that was your Social Security and Medicare contribution. And for 70-odd years, Americans have been watching the FICA tax deducted from their paycheck for Social Security. $13.5 tr uh, trillion. Dollars. How much has Social Security paid out to each and every one of us since 1935 to today in benefits? How much? Of the $13 trillion, how much has been paid out? $13.5 trillion, I'm sorry. $13.5 trillion. How much? Eight trillion, four trillion, two trillion, twelve trillion. Okay, how many of you still remember how to do math? Thirteen and a half trillion real dollars put into the system. I'm sorry, thirteen trillion dollars put into the system. Twelve trillion taken out. By the way, within that twelve trillion, I just included all the administrative costs. Social Security's administrative costs, less than one percent. Any of you have, do any, any of you put money into uh, uh, like stocks or bonds? You have a financial advisor? Any of you? If you do, take a look at the, uh, at the statement that you get from your financial advisor. And then take a look at the fees. And then calculate the percentage of the fees. And you will find it is far more than 1%. Social Security charges you and me 
to manage the system that has guaranteed you benefits for over 75 years, never once missing a payment, on time, in full, less than 1%. So the administrative cost over these 70-odd plus, plus years, plus all the benefits paid out, and by the way, it's not just retirement benef benefits, it's disability benefits and survivor benefits. All of that combined adds up to about $12, $12 trillion. So $13 trillion minus $12 trillion, who can do the quick math? $1 trillion. $1 That means $1 trillion of Americans' taxpayer money has not been spent yet. Yet there are folks who say that Social Security is broke. There are so, some people say we must get rid of the system because it is broken and it doesn't work. Now let me give you the other little secret that says why Social Security is something I'd like to spend a little bit of time on. Because I just, I just, I, I didn't tell you the full truth. Social Security doesn't have a trillion dollars. It has two and a half trillion dollars. Now why is it that I could tell you that Social Security actually has two and a half trillion dollars for you instead of a trillion? Because when we have put, when you have been, you have been paying Social Security money. And as you just did the quick math, you can see we've been paying more than we've taken out for benefits. When you put a dollar in a bank, a savings account, and you only take out 50 cents, they still have 50 cents of yours. And you expect to be paid the interest that you're supposed to earn. Most of you don't put just a dollar in. You put a lot more. You put 1000 You put 10000 You don't give the bank the money and say, keep 10000 as long as you wish, so long as I can take it out. Don't worry about paying me interest. Because I guarantee you when, you, when when you ask them, can I take 10000 out, they'll say, you can take 10000 out, but you will pay me interest. So they pay us interest as well. Well, the same thing is happening right now. The Social Security system has collected, as we just said, over a trillion dollars more in its lifetime than it's had to pay out. Since 1983, we've been paying as Americans more into Social Security than we've had to take out. Because in 1983, President Ronald Reagan, with the, the Tip O'Neill in the House of Representatives as the, the speaker at that point, uh, and I forgot, uh, it wasn't Dole, I forgot the Republican who was the Senate Majority Leader. They reached that agreement in 1983 when they saw that Social Security, because of demographics and the baby boomer generation, was going to need more money into the future. So in 1983, they set up the system so that it wasn't just you pay in a dollar because we knew a dollar was going to go out in benefits. We started paying in a dollar twenty through our taxes, and we, would, we knew a dollar was going to come out. So since 1983, we've been paying more in than we've been taking out. So the more that we've been paying, the more the surplus has grown. And every time we leave a little money in, it gets to earn some interest. What kind of interest? Very modest interest, interest about 3 4%. Because the money's been invested in treasury certificates, the safest investment in the world. Why is it the safest investment? Because it's backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. of A. If the U.S. of A doesn't pay, then a whole bunch of economies fall. Because who has treasury certificates? Every bank that you have money in holds treasury certificates. Because that's where they put, they want to have some safe money. They don't just bet on your real estate. They bet on, they have to put their diversified, diversified account, they put money into treasury certificates. Who else? When China lends us money, what do, they, what do they ask for? They don't ask us for an IOU. They ask us for a treasury certificate. Because it's the safest investment in the world. Right now, because you have worked hard and you've been, will, been willing to pay into the FICA account, the Social Security system, more money than we've needed. That money has gained interest. A trillion and a half dollars in interest. So you add the trillion that has not been spent with the trillion and a half that's been earned in interest since 1983 and you have two and a half trillion dollars. Actually, by the end of this year, it will be $2.7 trillion that we have in Social Security. Yet people are saying it's broke. What they're essentially saying to you is that Every time you've contributed to Social Security through that FICA tax, we haven't used it for Social Security. We've used it for other things. Like maybe helping pay for the war in Iraq or Afghanistan or to pay for the Bush tax cuts that have cost us trillions of dollars. Don't let them fool you. There is nothing in America that has worked as well, private sector or public sector, as Social Security. And if we let it go, shame on us. Shame on us. I apologize for taking so long on that.